Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, May 31st, 2024. I hope we are doing well this morning and I pray that God will pour out his blessing upon you today. May he protect you as you go out and may he keep you from harm and from danger. I pray that you will continue to look to him who is your provider and your sustainer and your savior. Our reading today comes to us from Isaiah chapter 14, reading from verse 12 to 14. And it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Amen. We thank God this morning for His Word. And this reading this morning, it is so applicable to a lot of us in the sense that we sometimes don't know what it means to be humble. This guy, Lucifer, his mouth, it seems like it has no constraint. Here is what he's saying. He's basically saying that he wants to take God's place. So he the one who is fallen, he the one who is the creature who was created by God, no one to be God or to be above God. How can that be? How can that be? So his lack of humility knows no bound. And he took that same kind of mentality when he was thrown out of heaven down to hurt. And he has infected human with that same kind of behavior. A lot of us, we have no clue what it means to be humble. We point our fingers in God's face and we tell him, this is how it's got to be. This is how we want it to be. And there is no other way but my way. He wants to ascend to heaven. He wants to exalt himself above God. He wants to be God. And so he feels that because God made him and put him in such a position of authority, because he was such an iconic angel in heaven, such an iconic figure in heaven, set above all the angels, he now believed that somehow he deserved more than he had. The audacity of him. But you know, we are guilty of the same thing a lot of times. And unless we humble ourselves and unless we turn to God, we are going to end up just like Satan. You know, I believe that the more we are elevated in life is the more we should become humble. But I realize that the more we climb the ladder of success is the less humble we are. We become more arrogant. We become more selfish. We become more unkind. And the list goes on. And as I always say, a good leader, one of the characteristics of a good leader or a great leader is humility. You cannot be a good leader until you know what it means to be humble. Until you can come down in the dirt with others. You can't want to walk above everybody because you feel like, okay, you have something that they don't have. No, that's not the character of Christ. And the character that Satan or Lucifer at the time was exhibiting was not the character that he was created with. Because as we learned yesterday, that God is a God of perfection. And when he made Lucifer, he made him perfect. He was a perfect being. But because of his pride and because of his lack of humility, he was corrupted by his jealousy for God. And so he became toxic. And so 
that toxicity eventually start to spread amongst the angels that bad behavior and that is why growing up as a child i always hear to say that one one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch and it is so true if you leave that one apple in there with the good ones they are eventually going to spoil i've seen it and so if you put somebody with a bad behavior amongst people who are good so to speak or who have good behavior if they are not careful they themselves will become corrupted i have seen it many times over and one of the one of the the the, the and one of the things that a lot of us tell ourselves sometimes is that oh no i am strong enough or no i don't have to be affected you know i can change him or i can change her or whatever kind of thing we want to tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better not understanding that bad communication it will corrupt good manners that's the cycle of life and so we must choose our friends and those we associate with on a daily basis we must choose them wisely and if we cannot understand the importance of our character building then we are in danger of losing ourselves losing our soul and becoming miserable people and so this morning my message to us is that we will remember that we were created to give god praise to worship him we should be humble we should humble ourselves before god and we should abide by his laws his his rules because he is the creator and we are the creature and we cannot stand above god never never so don't let satan infiltrate your mind with this deception as the reading said that what he came down with the same kind of concept and he what weakened the nations these are the things that he feed in the minds of humanity and so we develop these bad habits and if you look in the world today these are the same kind of character and attributes that are being exhibited by the, the human race and we have to break out of that bad habit so i pray this morning that god will help us help us to walk in line with his word and to trust that he knows what best for us because he's the one that made us and just like oh the car cannot go and tell the manufacturer what it needs the manufacturer have to put or tell the car what it needs because what the manufacturer is the one that made the car amen so may god continue to bless and give us guidance and wisdom as we continue to trust in him in jesus name amen